but I'm back. I had something to eat. I literally just warmed some hot dogs. That's about it. Anyway. And staring at this menu while I was eating, it occurred to me, I've actually never had fondue. Like, like, in, in the sense of putting something into melted cheese like that. So, we are back, I think. So, so let me check something real quick. Go ahead, in an angel's thing. Go Let's confirm the order. Oh Salt his tongue. MP3 force. An army king from Japanese beef ribs. Beef ribs. Ice cream. A fresh leaf piece. Let's finish with this. Mass blackout. All right, and let's go with stuff that I haven't eaten here. That way, I fill out the thing. Cheese fondue. Uh, I don't know what the fresh thing was. I know that was that. Yep. It's how you get experience. Or a good way to get experience. Almost have enough. Head here and buy those appetite stuff here. Alright, so. Let's see, have we finished eating here? Ah, uh, yes, we have, because there's only two ramen. Place. So let's eat everything we haven't. And let's order the platters. Get the scallop.
Oh, veggie, veggie duo. I assume this is a bar. Mm. Are you okay? My head, it's aching like a mofo. Or it's itching. That's what happens when you don't bathe for a month. That's probably not healthy. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Give me a witty comeback. A real zinger. Uh, I don't do that on command. Uh. So not funny. I mean, honestly, this is less strange than, than the start of my second episode, which was being part of a photo shoot where the cameraman was in a speedo. That gave me pause. So not funny. Sorry. Comedy isn't really my thing, and I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot. I'll see you later. And not to mention, he had the bod to go with it. The dude was ripped. <laughs> like, it was this what the hell type moment. Wait, man. I ain't talking about you. I'm saying I'm not funny. And that's why I can't get any good comebacks out of people. My setups are all cow dung. You're not wrong. Ooh. <laughs> Savage, Kiju. <laughs> that's a uh, real honest of you. Anywho, sorry to get all up in your business about it. My name's, uh... Wow. Minamizawa. There we go. I'm Kiryu. Listen, Kiryu-san. Me and an old buddy of mine used to be part of a meet knee slapping comedy duo called the Mars Flyers. Fighters. I doubt you heard of us, though. The act never got off the ground. It's a comedy co style called Menzai, where I play the funny guy and my bud... Kitagawa was a straight man. Uh. Yeah, I've never heard of you. Oh. Well, the reason I'm so down is, you see, the Grand Prix of the Gags is right around the corner. But my buddy up and quit on me the other day. Maybe the cops wheeled him off? Guy had more porn stink stinking up in his place than every sex shop in town. That's gross, man. Oh. Or maybe aliens beamed him down and messed with, with his brain. Felt him real good, if you know what I mean. Oh. These are jokes. Uh. Uh, surprisingly, Kiryu was wearing pants during the photo shoot. He was shirtless, though. I'm really not funny, huh? Ugh. I, I tossed myself aside for, for a career in comedy. Dreamed of being a star since I cracked my first pun. But now my partner's gone. I don't think I got the chops to go solo. My setups are garbage. This is what rock bottom feels like, eh? Sub story, that's no joke. Maybe you should find a new career. Absolutely savage. But I think that's the right answer because it, usually when you accept the quest, it's uh, the lower answer that is what you accept it for. Maybe you, maybe you should branch out. See what else is out there besides comedy. Outside comedy, huh? In that case, I want to get filthy rich. I bet being the oil baron is pretty slick. Oh, oil. Slick. I got that one. But you didn't laugh. If you don't want to give it up, then you gotta try harder. Right? Mm. Yeah, that ain't half wrong. The jokes are in my bones, and it's no use trying to bury them. Maybe I can still make my big break. I just need a straight man for my act. What do you say, Kiyusun? Uh, how about partner, you partner up with me? 
Now that's a good joke. <laughs> joke. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. I'll stick around here and wet my whistle a bit longer. We're looking at that Grand Prix. Thanks. Hey, chocolate dog. All right, let's see what let's see what the good old alcohol does. Beef eater. Well, let's start at the top. Yamazaki, 18 years old, a frying choice. Then 12-year-old Yamazaki. Hikosho, 18 years old. Hibeki, 30-year-old. 30, 30 Damn. That is some age stuff. Hibiki, 21-year-old. Well, at least it's old enough to drink itself. Let's see. The, the Macallan, 12 years old. The Lafrog, 10 years. Bowmore, 12 years. Daniel Fitch. Yeah, that's when you start to feel old. Is when when the choice your choice of alcohol is still younger than you. All right, let's go. Let's get hammered. Kinitaze. Hushed whispers. Sa ikuka. Ariato was I must. Oh, and there, there's stuff that helps me sober up. Maybe in food and drink. Let's see. Excellent for eating digestion. Refreshing room to uh, white soda. So the boost the attack again. Oh, it's it's water. Uh sizzle coffee. Force me melt water. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Oh yeah, that helped me sober up. <coughs> but I remember it being water. Uh, for it's melt water. There we go, all sobered up. Ready for more. That's all you need to sober up. Just, you just need a tiny bit of uh, water. Let's see. Well, at least now I have the experience I need. Alright, let's see. Because what I wanted was... Boost the hunger gauge to the maximum! Sprint. Since a seizing blade. Finishing hold ma mastery. Regard. Okay, 
Okay, let's get the boosted sprint. Let's try the dark. I forget which one's cricket. Oh, she's trying to take away my scores. Fine, let's ruin her day. It's okay, I can make this up. If I don't mess up my bullseye again. Okay, let's go for missing up her shots. Wow, my timing is way off. Just barely out. Okay, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm losing this round. Absolutely buried me. Let's see if I can at least get the bullseyes again. Timing was way off. <laughs> Don't need a ref to know I lost. Let's pull the plug. 
I like how I got the trip bullseyes the first round too. Oi, oi. You. Hey, you think it's okay to glare at a guy like that? Well, it ain't. I wasn't glaring at anyone. I saw those furrowed ass eyebrows. You think wearing a suit's gonna get you off the hook? Calm down, you're imagining things. Oh, and now you're making fun of me, huh? I ain't gonna stand for this. Hope you're ready to get a taste of my fist. Sorry, I'm not hungry. I bet you're that dumb comedian's friend. Wait, cool your jets, no more. Hey, what's... Katagawa? What did you call him? He sound this guy's, uh... My ex-partner. Kitagawa. From Mars Fire... The Mars Fires. Minamizawa. What the hell's got into you, Kitagawa? You're acting like a dumbass thug. Uh, no time to talk. God, run! Kiyo-san? I'm slower than molasses going uphill. Am I chasing down that fool for me? Seriously? Fine. Hey, slow down! Don't hurt me. Why'd you dart off like that, Kitagawa? Boy. He asked you a question. Or do you need help finding the words? Oh, yeah. like, <laughs> I'll talk. Give it to me straight, Kitagawa. Why'd you up and disappear on me? Your setup suck harder than a cheap okay. Damn! <laughs> you don't give a guy anything he can work with. Damn, dude. Now that's your side, he's got a point. Can't say I didn't realize it. Ain't like my comebacks were much better. We got last, what, maybe once every show? I just don't think we're cut out for comedy, man. So that's why I quit. Keep the go. Oh. Say, what did you get yourself into then? Why are you running out of town acting like a Yakuza? After I quit, I found myself sipping iced tea in a manga cafe. Trying to find some meaning in my life. Ice tea and manga? What the hell's gotten into you? So I read the story, this epic story about this manly Yakuza, but when I finished reading it, I just felt empty, you know? So I thought maybe I'd become a Yakuza myself, and the story would never have to end. Man, you're dumber than a sack of bricks. That ain't a reason to turn to life a crime. Wake up. Take it! Ouch, man. Don't hit me like that. You ruin a face made for showbiz. Not like a face made for mugshots. Uh, you gone and knocked my toupee out of place. Wait. You're bald? You know? It feels like we never broke up. This feels just like it did back when we were on stage. Hey, hold up. Eh? Yeah. Ain't this good? What? The dish rag on your head? Looks like shit if you ask me. No, I'm talking about this dynamic. Can't you feel oh. it? Actually. I'm playing the funny guy and you the straight man. You're right. You were trying to make me the funny guy, but it turns out you're way better at it. And you're the straight man. Those are some ferocious comebacks, by the way. I can almost feel my hair coming back. That ain't hair. That's confidence, buddy. Your hair's a lost cause. Oof. <laughs> We're gonna rock the Grand Prix. Get to go. You really think we can do it? Yeah, it down in my mind. The Mars fires are back, baby. Can't thank you enough, Kitty-san. This is all because of you. 
If you hadn't pushed me out the door of that sad ass bar, I might have kissed comedy goodbye forever. And if you hadn't scrambled my brains with those fists, I wouldn't be happy as funny as I am now. You're the one who started the fight, Twinkle Toes. I do believe you owe the man an apology. Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry, man. Yeah, you never change. This time, I quit. Hold the phone. We just got back together. Yeah, and I'm, my, and I'm regretting my life choices. That's all. Thanks for tuning in. You know? They're not half bad. Alright, let's see, where am I at? Oh, oh. Alright. Let's... I mean, you're not wrong, but at least they were better than he was in the bar. Let's see. Wait, did I already eat all the meat in this place? I did not. Okay, freshly feed. Alright. Completed that place. Uh, working on getting experience. The achievements are just a little bit of extra experience. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。はい、ネクストショット。
Welcome back. for the dragon. Alright, next place. Crab omelet on rice. Let's see. I'll put tofu. Crimpy chili sauce. I think it was this one. That gives me the bonus. Fireball combo. Let's go back to that pharmacy to get more. the crab place and then smile burger actually is there any no there isn't what's that small shop over there Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Dr. Yaki. Let's cancel the order in. Use those. Honestly, I think it's this one that's the most expensive yet gives you the most points. Alcohol tolerance isn't really needed, but the XP game would be nice. Yeah. I'm about to send one of you into the river. Yeah. I was hoping I would throw him into the river. I've yeeted people off the bridge a few times. Yeah, this one and the crab place seem to be the most expensive and the most amount of experience. I was going somewhere in particular. Where was I going? Oh yeah, I was going to check out the next food place.
That's... Oh. Let's try this. Oops. Oh, wow. The only thing I haven't had is the really good wild burger. Let's take everything you got on your menu. Bonus wild set killing time. Wild Jackson. Thick Kiri. Well, the amount that he fights and runs around, he, he works it off. He works quite a bit of it off. all of them for now. Oh, hey, there's another. Save up for that. I want to check out the uh, the uh, stat boost. Yeah, forget that plant. Thirty, fifty, seventy, and ninety. Seventy and ninety. So I can guarantee myself 160 each time with an extra 30. Yeah, this is the best place to get that particular one. Marble beef. Some people to fight. I've pushed in too many faces. Duel. 
Okay, that's it. Alright, they're going off this bridge. Get the fuck out. You're next. Well, since I'm over here, the pharmacy is like right here. Question, have I? Oh, probably brought another one or two meals. It'll give me the experience I want. You don't see me? Can't catch me on the gingerbread, man. I need more green. Okay. Now I need green. You got anything that boosts green? That good amount. Ooh, you do. This may be my place of choice. No crab horse. The marble beef, the vegetable tempura, and there we go. Was that enough? Yes, it was. Increase the max amount of HP gains. Or... That and the alcohol tolerances are the things that are keeping me right now. Granted, this is kind of cheating, <laughs> or at least it feels a little bit like it. So, here we go again. I mean, I got... As long as I got the money, I can keep doing this. Oh, 
I mean, I think this is the equivalent of power leveling right here. Whoa, okay. So you just got to see the area load in. Almost time to start making more money, too. Oh, hey, that thing's still here. Oh, hey. There's more guys over here. On the other side of the bridge. Making a little bit more money. Let's 
more goons. Let's see. Might as well look for businesses. Like that. I see Richie. Wanna go? Shibaraku Netero. And then fly. Oh, okay, I remember. Uh, no, uh... No gravure this time, but very... Odd stories... Of supposed... Um... Happy time titles. Where literally one was called, An Anteater Killed My Husband. And it was odd. At least the way it was described, it was odd. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Shiny. I see shinies. Almost enough to go eat. Take it. I also took his weapon. Enough to eat. Oh, 
Of course, you guys are right outside the restaurant. Don't mind the mess outside. I just had to start with some ass kicking. Then I moved on to some name taking. Max, need a little bit more for that, but maximum sprint. Need a, just a bit more green. Got just enough. And this this could go even further beyond. I'm at the max. Okay, the rest I can get naturally. You can try to whoop my ass. Emphasis on the try. Oh, we have another date with her. Kiryu-san! Kiryu-san, are you free right now? Hmm? What's going on? Uh, you remember that panties thief I told you about before? Oh no. 
they get your panties again, Kiyoki? No! My grandmother's. Oh, yeah. I seem to have trouble remembering that part. <sighs> that was even in the conversation, like... Like, you seem upset that they were my grandmother's, like... No, no, it's... Like, you seem upset for some reason. Like, no, no, I... Just give me a second to process it. Uh... Well, that's not my fault. Anyway, has there been an update? Hi. Not really. But I just can't shake it from my mind. And the more I think about it, the more I want justice. You really that fired up about it? Yes. Yuki-san lives nearby too, you know. What if she's the next victim? Penny thieves are the enemy. And if Yuki-san's pennies are at risk, I can't rest. Man, this thief made a huge mistake targeting someone so passionate about panties. He sure did. I give it some thought. I think I devised a way to catch this pervert. I'm ready to turn words into action. But I feel much safer if you were with me, Kiryu-san. Will you help me? I guess so. I guess so. I really don't want this to blow up into it bigger than it's already gotten. You're the best, Kiryu son. Are you ready for war? Y yeah. Where are we going? This is the place, Kiryu san. Wait, what? I thought you were going to leave me to the culprit or something. What's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I would... I was thinking that the thief would definitely target cute panties like the ones I wear. So I'm gonna lure out the thief with a panty snare. And when he appears, I want you to jump out and catch him. What's wrong, Kiryu san? Koyuki, is this really the best plan you could come up with? Yep, it's perfect, isn't it? I think we should call it... Operation Panty Bait. I am trying so hard not to laugh. <clears throat> okay, listen, Kiyuki. I don't think any thief in his right mind would steal underwear off a bench. What? You don't think so? Right. It's not exactly... The natural environment for panties, you know. Oh, don't worry about that. I got a fresh pair that I think would find irresistible. I just can't right now. Aren't they the cutest? Even he's just like, the fuck? Kyuki, those are... Nobody's going to steal those, ever. Huh? Why not? You don't think they're cute enough? Kiryu san, I don't think you really know how a penny thief thinks. I'm glad I don't actually. Besides, doesn't that mean you really wear panties like this? What? No way! I wouldn't wear panties like this. I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that. Savage! Bro, absolutely savage! Okay. But let's not argue. The odds are in our favor here. 
And I say we give it a shot. Fine. This is never going to work in a hundred. Shh. The thief approaches, Kiryu san. Really? Honestly, if I saw that, I'd probably just be look at it for a second. What the fuck? And just keep walking. Pretty suspicious. I like how there's a woman literally right next to her. Like, no, I don't care that you're stealing the panties. Bro, what's with the gingerly way you picked them up? Ah, you picked up the panties, cutie son. What do we do? Why do I feel this is only gonna get worse if I wait and see, but... Yeah. No, I don't think he's our man. Okay. Uh, you're right. It couldn't be him. Oh, look. Another guy. Pretty suspicious. Again, what's with these random dudes just picking up a pair of panties so gingerly? And hey Ryuji, how you doing? Ah, oh, he picked up the peach panties, Kitty son. What do we do? Just, yeah. just wait and see. No, that isn't the right guy. Okay. Why are these guys just picking up in the first place? You're right, it couldn't be him. Oh, look, another guy. I didn't really expect this to work out as well as he did. Right? And then, then they just leave it. Like this. This is for the next guy. Like, the next guy must also worship this. Pretty suspicious. I mean... He looks like a classic penny thief. Ah, he picked the pennies up. Isan, what do we do? Ah. Uh... Yeah. No, I don't think that's deep. Okay. Do we just keep going until we actually accuse one? Right, it couldn't be him. Oh, look, another guy. How many times? Pretty suspicious. A thief, right? I bet since he's in the suit, he is a thief. He's got a fucking bolt with him. Ew, that's gross. Uh, I can't watch those poor cute panties. No way. What the? Please stop! Ugh. I got to stop this. Right? Boy. Hey. That's not something you do in public, Panty Keep. What do you mean? You must be the Panty Thief causing all the commotion in town. What? No! These panties just flew into my face. It was the wind! Is it bad that I've heard that excuse before in an anime and the thing is it was actually true?
And I remember the exact anime too. The Great Panty Migration. You think I'm going to believe that? No, you got the wrong idea. Uh, how did these panties end up in my hand? Wait, isn't that Kuyuki-chan? What's she doing here? Why do you know her? Ah, it's him! You know this guy, Kuyuki? Hi. Yeah, he's a Four Shine customer. Oh, is he now? You remember me, Kuyuki-chan. Wow, what an honor. Of course! We had to ban you after you kept being inappropriate. I'm getting the picture now. You caused trouble for Kyuki in and out of the club. Sh shut up! What's your deal anyway? I'm the new manager at Four Shine. I heard some penny problems. Heard about some penny problems. You're the cause of. Four Shine has a new manager. Yeah, and honestly, I'm shocked that you fell for this. I did find it a little suspicious, but the siren song of the panties called out to me, and then. Get through this. Kiryu san, not even I expected the culprit to be this pervert. <laughs> but now that you know, I'll just have to make sure you can't snitch. Boy. Koyuki, stand back. Uh, okay. I won't let you interfere with my pursuit of panties. You know, I have something just for you, bro. This is what we do to penny thieves around here. Get it. You need one last one. Slash across the face. Uh, spare my life. Unless you want to re repeat this, you better get up and. You better never. Uh, unless you want to repeat this, you better never get up to anything this stupid uh, again. Oh, okay, I'll be better about it. Better about it. Ugh. Let's give back the panties you stole. Okay. What a jerk. Sending my poor old granny's panties like that. Wait. What? You made a very old lady's. You made an old. You made a. Okay. <clears throat> I can get to. <clears throat> you made an old lady very sad about her underwear. Is all I'm saying. Then those panties weren't yours, Koyuki chan? Haven't you heard what I said? They're my grandmother's. Oh, Koyuki chan. Fancy running, running to you on the footpath. Ah, Grandma! You're just in time to see us get back those panties you had stolen. Oh, am I? That's wonderful. Oh, my. But that. Does that mean this is the culprit? <laughs> You stole some panties I've had for years, Sonny. You're not into more mature ladies, are you? No. Thank you, son. Thank you so much for helping me today. Uh. Sure. I'm still in disbelief we actually caught the guy like that. <laughs> Does that mean you'll have more faith in me now? I suppose I will. But, I didn't know I'd be putting you in danger, Kiryu-san. I'm so sorry. Nah, it really was nothing. I'm just glad you're not hurt. If anything happened to you, I... Kiryu-san. What you do? I like how I was building up this romantic tension here. Um, uh, thank you so much. I'm really happy. 
Uh, so we should get back to work. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's like, damn. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, Yuki forgot her bat panty bait. That thief was really into this. Why is that the first option? Just why? I mean, actually, no, because I think it would look stupid, and I know it would look stupid. Uh... But the thing is, I can just see it. Like, I can just see it happening, and I'm just like, she's gonna come back and be like, what the f as well. Anyway, just throw them. Get the fuck out. It's hard to imagine people really get into things like this. Okay, w w when you said throw them... I thought you were gonna be in the thrash... Like, in a trash can. I didn't think you were actually gonna yeet the shit. You toss that thing like a goddamn baseball. Which, honestly, I think is more hilarious. I'm kidding you, son. You okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa! And she trips on him? Ugh. Who leaves panties lying around like that? I'm Koyuki, you're... Those panties. You really do wear... Uh-huh! Kiryu, son, you look... What a perfect key, son. Itchy. Itchy. No touchy. Pretty much. Operation Panic. 